Are they missionaries or are they mercenaries? Because the missionaries build better products and services, they care for their customers more. The, the mercenaries are trying to make a quick buck, they're trying to flip this company and sell it. They built it to, for sale. They always wanted to sell it, they wanted to get rid of it. And, um, and those companies aren't built to last. Uh, so that's the main thing I thought about when I saw these people on stage tonight. Many, many kids and many grown-ups do figure out uh, over time what their passions are. And sometimes we let our, I don't think it's that hard. I think what happens though sometimes is that we let our intellectual selves overrule those passions. Uh, and so that's what needs to be guarded against. Uh, kids are very good about knowing what their passions are. When you think about your life, I think, I, I often tell people um, that I work with, if you can get, because people, people have very high standards for how they want their work life to be. And, uh, and I said, look, if you can get your work life to be where you enjoy half of it, that is a home, that is amazing. Because very few people ever achieve that. People don't dislike hard work. What people dislike is being um, out of control. Like they can't control their life, they can't control their environment. This happens to me when I get overscheduled. I hate being overscheduled. I want some time to be able to think and free myself. We all have the same amount of time in the world. Nobody has more time than anybody else. You cannot invent and pioneer if you cannot accept failure. To, to, to invent, you need to experiment. And if, it's, if you know in advance that it's going to work, it is not an experiment. And so that's a very important thing. You, you know, it's a, the, they are inseparable twins, failure and invention. And so you have to be willing to do that. And it's embarrassing to fail. Um, you know, it's always embarrassing to fail.